Chapter 9 Arya's Point of View Hi Ma'am Arya, good morning po. Pati sa akin ang guard pagkapasok ko. Good morning, sagot ko. Good morning ma'am. Good morning ma'am. Good morning po. I smiled to all that greeted me the moment I entered the building. Hello Miss Arya, buti narito na kayo. Tarantang salubong sa akin ni Agatha nang papasok na ako ng elevator at siya ang iniluwa noon. Sabay kaming pumasok ng elevator muli upang pumunta sa opisina ko. Some clients are trying to sue us because of incompetent management, she said, almost crying. What? I asked, shocked. Nandito na kami ngayon sa loob ng opisina ko at kakababa ko lang ng bag ko sa table para sana simulan na ang mga paperworks na kailangan kong harapin. Ngunit na bago ang plano ko ng magsalita muli si Agatha. Yes po, hindi ko rin alam kung bakit, but he kept calling us and even sent an address at gustong ikaw ang pumunta para harapin sila. Mangyak-ngyak na anas ni Agatha dahil sa pagkataranta. Okay, okay, calm down. Give me the address and kindly tell the driver to prepare. I'm going back down now. I said calmly and she again looked shocked. Eh, hindi po kayo magagalit? Matataranta? Magwawala, Miss Arya? Sasampahan na tayo ng kaso, Diyos ko po! Nagpapabalik-balik na anas nito. They will not. Trust me, okay? May kipagkita ako to settle things. Now go and prepare everything. I said, fixing my things to make sure I'm not leaving anything that I needed. Pero Miss Arya, nag-aalangan na anas ni Agatha. Agatha, we're wasting our time here. Medyo strict ang pagkakasabi ko, kaya agaran itong tumalikod at naunang lumabas. Agatha is my secretary for almost two years. When I started working as the chief marketing manager of this company, I'm now staying here at New Zealand, and luckily, majority of the employees here are Filipinos. Kaya nakakapagsalita kami ng lingwahe kapag kami-kami lang. The moment that I arrived here, I just spent a week fixing my things. I looked for a place to stay and settled in. After that, I started to apply to different companies here, and two days later, I received the notice that I'm shortlisted for a marketing manager job position. I was thankful when after a few more days, I received a call that I got hired. It's good that I found a job as soon as possible to distract my thoughts about my issues. After a year of hard work and meeting the standards of the company, I was promoted to chief marketing manager. It meant that I now manage all the branches this company have all over New Zealand. It was a huge and new milestone for me. It's also a new experience and journey. There are more responsibilities on my shoulder now, but I faced it head on. I sometimes set aside my personal time and can't even take a rest or a little bit of break because of so much work. Luckily, Agatha was there to assist me, and I trust her very well, even if sometimes she panics and shouts at me. I laugh to that thought. Remembering a time when she shouted at me because I was a minute late to a meeting with the board. I was super busy that time that I forgot about the time. She reminded me a couple of times that day, but I'm stubborn sometimes. Everything is ready, Miss Arya, sabi ni Agatha pagkababa ko. Okay, where's the address? I asked while walking. Po, sasamahan ko na po kayo. She volunteered. No, it's okay. I need you here. Call for a meeting with the HR department to secure and review all the performances of everyone to avoid this kind of incident again. I instructed. Yes, Miss Arya, and the driver already knows the location. She replied. Okay, thank you. I hurriedly entered the car and headed to the place where I should meet this client of ours. Nasa 20 minutes na kaming pumabiyahe, pero hindi pa rin kami nakakarating. Gano'n ba kalayo ang lugar na yun? Tumingin ako sa labas. Pero hindi pamilyar sa akin ang daan. Our company driver is well trusted. Therefore, I didn't get nervous. I leaned back on my seat and rest myself a bit. Why the hell he or she would sue us? And I even got confused when Agatha didn't mention who this client was. No matter, it was one of our clients, so I should know him or her. I just couldn't figure out why she left that very important information out. I was about to get my phone so that I can call her. But then the driver said, Narito na po tayo, ma'am. I got out of the car. The place isn't familiar, but it is a Japanese restaurant. I suddenly remembered my parents. I wonder how they're doing. I shook my head to erase the thought, 
and composed myself before entering the restaurant. I am meeting a client. I need to be professional. Surprise! Napaatras ako ng pagbukas ko ng pinto ay bumungad sa akin ng mga balloons, flowers, and party poppers. What's happening? Teka, anong meron? Natatawang tanong ko, pero gulat pa rin. Celebration for you, Miss Arya! Masiglang sigaw ni Agatha. Malayo sa tarantang itsura niya kanina. Nagtaka naman ako nang makita ko siya. Teka, bakit ka nandito? Naguguluhang tanong ko. Surprise nga po eh. Kumakamot sa ulong sabi niya. Oo na, surprise naman ako. Now tell me why are you here? Ikaw may pakana ng lahat ng tono. Nako, Agatha, sinasabi ko sa'yo, hindi magandang biro yun ah. Naglakad ako palapit sa kanila. Tiningnan ko isa-isa ang mga naroon. At halos lahat ng empleyado namin ay present. Agatha, sinong mastermind sa inyong lahat? Nananakot na tiningnan ko sila isa-isa. Naku ma'am, hindi kami ah. Sambit ng isa. Then who? Humalukip-kip ako at tiningnan sila ulit. Us. Napatayo ako ng derecho at dahan-dahang napalingon sa boses na aking narinig. Masaganang tumulo ang mga luha sa mata ko nang makita ko ng harapan ang dalawang taong hindi ko aakalaing makikita ko dito. Dad? Mom? Mahinang bigkas ko. Natutula lang nakatingin lang ako sa kanila na parang hindi pa rin makapaniwala. Yes, Iha. Nagpapahid ng luha na lumapit si mommy at yumakap sa akin. Niyakap ko siya ng sobrang higpit at nang tingnan ko si daddy ay naiiling na lumapit rin siya sa amin. Pero bakas ang luha sa mga mata. Kumusta po kayo? Miss na miss ko na po kayo. Humihikbing sabi ko habang magkakayakap pa rin kaming tatlo. We miss you too, Isabel. Mahinang sabi ni dad at hinalikan ang ulo ko. Am I dreaming po ba? Hindi pa rin makapaniwalang saad ko. Can I pull your hair, anak? Para naman malaman mong gising ka. Natatawang sabi ni ma'am at binitiwan na ako. Sana nga nananaginip na lang tayo para mabalik ang binayad ko sa tiket. Grabe ang mahal pala, sobra. Dugtong pa niya. Napanguso akong humarap sa kanila. Mami naman eh. Babayaran ko na lang po kayo o di kaya ay ako na lang magbabayad ng flight nyo pabalik. Pinapaalis mo na ba kami Shock was evident in my mother's eyes. Ngumisi lang ako sa kanya. Honey, you're worth it. Every centavo we spent is worth it just to see and be with you. Kahit sa ang lupalop ka pa ng mundo, pupuntahan ka namin. Saad ni daddy bago marahang ginulo ang buhok ko. Let's eat everyone! Sigaw ni mommy at nalingunan ko na halos lahat ay nagpapahid ng luha habang nakatingin sa amin. Nako yun na nga! Halos kabahan ako nang sabihan ako ng mami ni Miss Arya na ganito, ganyan. Una, ayaw kong pumayag. Kaya lang naaawa naman ako kay Miss Arya. Kwento ni Agatha. At hindi siya maawat sa kada dada. At may pasenyas-senyas pang nalalaman. Wait, did mom contact you? How? Tanong ko bigla. Ay, Miss Arya, mayaman kayo, no? Kaya tinatanong pa ba yun? Siyempre, nag sila ng private investigator. Astig naman! Komento ni Pia. Isa sa mga HR namin. Really, mom? Lingon ko sa pwesto nila, mommy. Yes, iha. Sagot nito. O, ba diba, Sosyal? Sana all. Tawang pahayag ni Agatha. Tumahimik ka, Agatha, ha? Pantaka ko rito. Miss Arya, minsan lang naman ako maging madaldal, eh. Sa office, sobrang formal ko, eh. Hirit pa nito. Sino may sabi? Matagal ka nang madaldal, hoy. Sita ko rito. Si Miss Arya naman, eh. Gumuso ito. Alam mo, bagay kayo ni Hiro. Ano pala wala? Biglang bawi ko sa sasabihin ko sana. Sasabihin ko sanang bagay sila ni Roy. Dahil pareho silang loko-loko. Pero dahil sumagi din sa isip ko si Sean ay iniwasang ko bigla. Ayoko pa siyang maalala. Po, bagay po ako kanino? Kinikilig na nalilitong tanong nito. Wala, bagay kayo ni Poldo, sabi ko. Tinutukoy ang gwapong maintenance namin na crush nito. Talaga po? Namimilog ang mga mata nito. Joke! Sabi ko bago siya talikuran. Miss Arya naman eh! Narinig ko pa itong nagreklamo, pero hindi ko na siya pinansin. Lumapit ako sa kinaroroonan ni na mommy at daddy. Mom, dad, try this. Hangi, this is a famous dish here in New Zealand. Alok ko sa kanila ng platong naglalaman ng pagkain na niluto sa ilalim ng lupa. It is one of the famous dishes here in New Zealand that I really love. 
You will never believe at first that it was cooked underground. Hmm, masarap nga. Tumangutangong ani ni Dad. Mom, huwag ka naman nang mag-alangan. Malinis naman yan. Sabi ko nang makitang medyo nagdadalawang isip siya kumain nito. The people here are very hygienic and neat. Although this is cooked under the ground, it is clean and yeah, it's delicious. Sabi ko pa dito. Oh, okay. Sabi ni Mom bago ito tikman. How is it? Intrigang tanong ko. Yeah, masarap nga. Nakangiting sabi niya. Told you. Tawa ko. No wonder you were a successful chief marketing manager. Because pati ako na hikayat mo. Natatawang saad nito. Opo naman. Mana sa inyo eh. Kibit balikat ko. I love this place. Although it's a Japanese restaurant, they still offer the country's dishes. Sabi ni dad maya maya. Yes dad. It is their way to promote the dishes of this country and to make it more well-known. Because, well, basically, people here are good at marketing their products as well as their lifestyle. Ang dami ko na nga pong na-adopt eh. Tatawa-tawang kwento ko. Ah, uh, kaya pala parang wala kang balak na umuwi ng Pinas? Nagtatampong sabi ni Mommy. Meron naman po eh. What's this, anak? Turo ni Dad sa isang putahe na parang scrambled egg ang itsura. That's white bait fritters, Dad. It's one of the delicacies of New Zealand. It is made from eggs, fish, and flour. Sabi ko. Tinikman nito ni Dad. At parang natuwa naman siya sa lasa nito. This one is what they call chocolate fish. It consists of white or pink marshmallow that is covered in chocolate and shaped into an elongated fish. Favorite po yan ng mga kids dito. Ang cute po kasi. Easy ko bago itinuro ang iba pa. Ito naman po ay Jaffa's. Popular rin po ito sa Australia. It consists of small round balls of chocolate covered in a red or orange colored orange flavored hard coating. It was named after Jaffa Orange. This one is cheese roll. Meron naman po tayo niyan sa Pilipinas. Pero dito ang laman niyan ay cheese and onions. And it is recommended here to eat cheese rolls with a hot bowl of soup. And that is the soup. Tinuro ko isa-isa ang mga dishes ng New Zealand. At halos walang pakundangan si mommy kung kumain. Mommy's really strict when it comes to her diet. But now, she's very willing to taste everything without checking its calorie count. Ito naman po ay bacon and egg pie. It looks unique dahil para siyang baked bread na pabilog, pero ang laman ay chopped bacon and boiled egg. Wow, parang gusto ko yan. Natawa si dad sa tinuran ni mom. This one is what they call Maori boil up. It is their technique of preparing meat and vegetables by boiling them in a large pot filled with water. Pakukulan lang? May lasa ba yan, anak? Tanong ni Dad. Opo naman, Dad. Mas maganda to kasi healthy siya. And it looks like a thick soup or a thin stew. Oh, what a good food indeed. Papuri ni Mom. The next time we go out, I'll introduce more food to both of you. Promise, magugustuhan niyo po lahat. Pinagtataka ko lang kung bakit hindi ka tumaba, anak. Sabi ni mom maya-maya. Because I maintain my diet, mom. Just like how you told me. I smiled at her. That's my daughter. Bilib na sabi nito. nag kami ni mom. At si dad ay naiiling na lang sa aming dalawa. Crazy people. Bulong pa nito. It's not the distance that make you forget the person. It is the willingness in your heart to move on and accept things. Ano bang mga pinagsasabi mo dyan, honey? Takang tanong ni dad kay mom. I'm just reading, ano ba? Pagalit na ganti ni mom. Reading what? Intriga pa ni dad. A text message, kaling kay balay. Eh. Mahinang bulong ni mom. Po, nagulat na napalingon ako sa kanila. Did I hear that, right? Ano daw? Bala eh. Tumalbog ang puso ko at kinabahan ako bigla. Ha? Ha? Ano ba sinabi ko? Tarantang sabi ni mom. Namukhang nalito rin at kinabahan bigla. Y- you said b- balae po. Tama ba, mom? Sabi ko at tumayo sa harapan nila. Uh, no, of course not. Anong balae dyan ang sinasabi mo, Arya? I said, kumare. My friend in a modeling agency na namit ko sa France last time. She keeps on sending me this kind of messages at nagagandahan naman ako. Tama, yun yun. Dire-direcho ang pagkakasabi ni mommy. Mommy is very sophisticated and high class. Well, she was a model back then. And even if she's nervous, she manages to compose herself to look confident. And she's doing that right now. Honey, 
Kalmahan mo lang, natatawang biro ni Dad nang siguro manotis rin ang pagkakataranta nito. Shut up, Leon! Galit na asik ni Mommy dito na ikinatawa lang ni Dad. Ayoko na basahin yan, napapahamak ako dyan. Bubulong-bulong pa ni Mom pero masyadong mahina para marinig ko pa. You do? Dad was obviously teasing Mom and when Mom faced him with the prim face, He hurriedly put his glass on and continued to read his newspaper that he is currently holding. We are now in my house here in New Zealand. When I arrived here, I first rented an apartment, but after a year, I bought my own house. I became dedicated to my work so that I can buy a house where I can stay comfortably. Ayoko rin namang magrenta ng magrenta na lang, kasi iba talaga buhay dito compared sa Pilipinas. Well... Anyway, anak, this is a good place, huh? Papuri ni ma'am, nang ilibot niya ang paningin sa buong bahay. It's a bungalow style with a combination of white and beige color on the walls. I personally interior designed this house based on what I like, and it looked like a vintage aesthetic house. The stuffs are either white or brown color. There are shades of light pink in different places of the house that added to the house being very attractive. Thank you, mommy! Sabi ko dito nang pasigaw. Nasa kusina kasi ako, nagluluto ng hapunan, while she and dad are busy with their own stuff at the living room. We are so proud that you can now live independently, anak. You are such a strong and brave girl. Sabi nito sa likuran ko. Ngumiti muna ako sa kanya, bago pinatay ang stove at humarap dito. Mommy, diba I told you that I should build and create my own name before I could take over our company? That is not just my reason. I also wanted to stand on my own two feet and try if I can do difficult things without you and dad by my side. Sabi ko rito at hinawakan nito sa kamay. And? And I realized I can do many things I never imagined I could do. I smiled at her. You've really grown up, anak. Iiling-iling na sabi nito. Of course, mom. And you always tell me that. I winked at her. Because I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud that the daughter of Doris Benitez is creating her own name and achieved a lot of things on her own. She was teary-eyed when I looked at her. Mommy naman ni, eh. Magdadramahan pa ba tayo dito? Let's eat. Anyaya ko sa kanya. Panira ka ng moment, anak. Alam mo yun? Naiinis na anas nito. Hindi po. I sarcastically replied. Ikaw, Arya, ha? Makakatikim ka na. Banta nito. Daddy! Kailangan ni mom ng lambeng! Sigaw ko para marinig ni dad sa sala. Hoy! Sigaw ni mommy. Pero natatawang lumayo ako dito para i-prepare na ang mesa. Yes, Sabel? What are you shouting about? Sabi ni dad nang makapasok siya ng kitchen. Mom needs comfort, dad. <laughs> Tumatanda na daw kasi siya. Kumahalakak ako ng siringan ako ng mata ni mommy. Is that true, hon? You know that I'll always love you even if you're old, fatty, ugly, and... Hindi natuloy ni dad ang mga sinasabi niya nang mas tumalim ang titig ni mommy sa kanya. Palihim naman na napangiti ako. What did you say, Leandro? I'm old, fatty, and ugly? Excuse me! Nagpupuyo sa galit na anas ni mom at hindi ko na napigilang mapahalakhak. I-, I said if you became those, I will still love you. Lambing ni dad dito. Pero napaatras ulit ito nang humakbang si mom palapit sa kanya. Baka nakakalimutan mo na ako si Doris Benitez. The famous fashion model who can make any man drool with my beauty. And you are one of those. Halukip-kip ni mom dito at pinagtasan nito ng kilay. Napalunok si dad at natawa ako sa reaction niya. Honey, hindi naman kasi ganun yung ibig kong sabihin eh. Kumakamot sa batok na depensa ni dad. Pero sabi mo, kapag tumanda ako, maging mataba at maging pangit. Hoy, Leon! Kailan pa ako magiging pangit, Aber? Sigaw na ni mom dito. O- okay, hindi na. I was wrong to use those words. And I didn't say it that way. Honey naman eh. Dapat kasi kikiligin ka doon. Namang problemang anas ni dad. Ha? Sino kikiligin kapag sinabihan kang pangit? Buong ka ba? Mom sarcastically replied. Buong sa pagmamahal sa'yo. Hika nga rito. Hinatak ni dad si mom sa kamay at ikinulong sa mga bisig niya. You know that you are always very beautiful in my eyes and our daughter is second to you. Even if you can make any man drool over you, 
I don't give a fuck to them because I know you will always be for me. I love you. My dad said, full of love. And mom was calmed by his hug and touch. Ahem, <clears throat> pabirong tumikim ako. Sana all na lang po ako, mom, dad. Natatawang anas ko nang maghiwalay sila at tumingin sa akin. Ingit ka ba, anak? Makahulog ang tanong ni mom sa akin. Po? Ako po? Tinuro ko pa ang sarili ko. Hindi po ako naiingit. Nagugutom na po ako. Halina po kayo at kumain na tayo. Sabi ko at umupo na sa hapag. KJ ng anak natin, honey, ah. Bulong ni dad. Tatandan talaga si guru. Ganting bulong rin ni mom. Hay, ewan ko sa mga magulang ko. Wow! Pinoy cuisine! Mom uttered with excitement. <laughs> Opo, ma'am. Madalas po talaga ang niluluto ko ay Pinoy dishes. Para hindi ko po kayo masyadong mamis. Eh, di ka na kasi umuuwi doon. Two years na eh. Sabi ni dad. I have a contract here, dad. And I should finish my task before I go back to the Philippines. I said apologetically. We understand naman, anak. But sometimes, parang ayaw mo na talagang umuwi doon. Nagtatampong anas ni mom. Mommy... There are things that I need to prioritize before my wants. Kung alam niyo lang po, gustong gusto ko nang umuwi ng Pinas. Yeah, we know. That's why we came here to visit you. Dad spoke. Thank you so much po. I really appreciate it. Nagulat po talaga ako nang makita ko kayo. As in, hindi ko po ina-expect eh. Yeah, kinusto talaga namin na ganun yun. Yung magugulat ka. I even contacted your secretary para maging successful ang surprise visit namin sa'yo. Mom was back to being cheerful. Natawa ako dun sa restaurant part, anak. Alam mo ba na malapit lang yun sa building nyo? Tatawa-tawa ang tanong ni Dad. Po? The location isn't familiar to me dahil sa driver lang naman sinabi ni Agatha. The driver took the long road para matagal kayo makarating at makapag-prepare ang lahat. Seryoso, ma'am? Kaya pala hindi familiar sa akin yung dinaanan namin at medyo matagal ang biyahe. The moment na nakaalis kayo, Agad rin nagsipagkilusan ng mga tao mo sa company para pumunta doon at malaki pa ang time na makapag-prepare sila. Walang iyang aga tayo na, natatawang sabi ko. Nako, anak, mabuti nga yan at loyal ang mga employees mo sa'yo. Yun nga, mami, eh. kaya hindi ko rin maiwan-iwan sila kasi napamahal na rin sila sa'kin. Sa I know, baby, but can you come with us when we go back to the Philippines? Tanong ni mom at nagkatinginan sila ni dad. Mami, may trabaho pa po kasi ako rito. Hindi pa ako pwedeng bumalik. Promise po, uuwi rin ako. Pero hindi pa po ako makakasabay sa inyo. Nalulungkot na saad ko. At lumapit kay Mami para yumakap. Hmm? Trabaho ba talaga ang rason o ayaw mo lang siyang makita? Sagot ni Mom. At natigilan naman ako. Mom? Don't worry, Anna. He's gone. Napatigil ako. At parang nalulumong na paupo dahil sa narinig. Pakiulit nga po sinabi nyo, He's gone. Arya, I understand your situation. I just never imagined that a time will come that I would have to let you go. You've been a major asset of this company. And since you became the chief marketing manager, we gathered lots of clients and investors. Thank you so much, Mr. Wilson. I'm really honored to work in your company. And I'm hoping we could meet and be partners someday. Oh, sure. That would not be impossible with the skills and talents you have. I just once again want to commend you, Miss Benitez, for a job well done. Mr. Wilson, the CEO of the Wilson Enterprises, stood up and we shook hands. I decided to talk to him regarding my resignation, and I'm glad that he understood. This company is very nice, and if I had a choice, I wanted to stay here and work like it is my life. But I need to fix things in the Philippines. I should go now, Mr. Wilson. Thank you so much for everything. I'm sorry again for the sudden decision I made. I said apologetically. No, no, it's okay. You did well, Miss Aria. It's time to start a new journey. And I'm hoping for your success and happiness. He smiled at me, and I stilled for a moment. Because when he uttered the word happiness, there was pain in my heart. And I remembered someone. What? Now that he's gone, I know that I became selfish for running away and not fixing our issues. But can you blame me? I was hurt. And up to this moment, the pain is still there and the bad memories are still fresh. Uh, thank you, I said, 
before I left his office. Miss Arya! Hindi ko na kailangan lingunin kung sino man ang humangawa dahil boses pa lang, alam ko na na si Agatha nga. I kept walking to my office when someone suddenly held my arm. And when I looked back, I saw Agatha catching her breath. What happened to you? Nagugulat na tanong ko sa itsura niya. Kanina ko pa po kayo tinatawag, hindi kayo tumitigil sa paglalakad. No wonder anak ka nga ng isang model. Lakas makapoys pag naglalakad po eh. Dire-diretsyong sabi niya. Na parang hindi hinihingal kanina lang. Why are you calling me? Hindi ka na sana tumakpo. I faced her and raised my brow. She just bowed down her head and I got confused. Agatha, is there a problem? Hinawakan ko siya sa balikat. Nang nagulat ako ng pagtingin niya sa akin, ay umiiyak na siya. Kayo po! Kayo po problema ko! Basta-basta nila po kayo aalis. Paano naman po ako dito? Mawawala na po ako ng kaibigan, kapatid at karamay. Hindi ko na po kayo makikita. Parang ang dali sa inyong umalis eh. Umiiyak na sabi nito. Kaya medyo natawa naman ako. Eh di sumama ka? Sabi ko bago tumalikod. Po? Uy, Miss Arya, seryoso po ba kayo? Yes, you can still be my secretary when I get back to the Philippines. I smiled and started to walk again. Medyo malayo na ako sa kanya nang marinig ko siyang sumigaw at tumawa. Baliw rin minsan eh. Thank you po, Miss Arya! Sobrang mahal ko po kayo! Natatahon na lang ako nang marinig ang pahabol na sigaw nito. I always wanted to keep the people I love close, to treasure everyone that treat me special. Natatawa ako nang maalala ang reaksyon sa mukha ni Agatha. She deserved the position I'm offering her. Kaya gusto kong isama siya pabalik ng Pilipinas. Kasi ayoko na iwan siya dito. She may be loud, but deep inside, I know she's fragile and vulnerable. Ma'am Arya, totoo po bang alis na kayo? Maya-maya ay tanong sa akin ng isang empleyado. Um, yes. I need to go back to the Philippines. Medyo nag-alangan ako nang sabihin ko yun. Bakit ba kasi ako babalik? There are things that are stopping me. But there is a part in my heart that tells me I need to get back. Sayang naman po. Ang bait-bait niyo pa naman. Wala na kaming boss na magaling at magalang. Plus mabait pa. Nakangiting papuri nito. Nahiya naman ako at bahagyang umiti sa kanya. I know someday magkikita pa rin po tayo. Ingat kayo ma'am at hanapin niyo po ang kaligayahan niyo. Sabi niya bago tumalikod. Napatigil naman ako sa sinabi niya at bahagyang nagtaka. Bakit parating kaligayahan ko ang dapat kong hanapin na sinasabi nila? Ganun na ba ako kalungkot tingnan? Napapailing na pinagmastan ko ang papalayong likod ni Mang Arthur na janitor namin dito sa building magmula na mag-umpisa ako. Hello, ma'am? Tinawagan ko si mami pagkapasok ko ng office ko. Yes, anak? Where are you? Tanong ko ng maulinigan ng ingay sa background. Oh, I'm here at the nearest mall in your building. Namit ko kasi ang isang kakilala ko sa modeling noon. Paliwanag nito. Ah, okay po. Where's dad? I asked. He's busy, anak. Nagpapamasage siya dito rin sa mall. Ewan ko kung saan banda yun? Sabi nito. Naikinailing ko na lang. Okay, mom. Um, can we have lunch together? Oh, yes, dear. Come here and we'll eat. I just said okay before she ended the call. I want to savor my last moments here in New Zealand with my parents before we go back to the Philippines. Now that he's gone, what now? Hindi ko na malayang may tumulong luha sa mga mata ko at pasimple ko yung pinunasan. Nasasaktan ako na wala na siya at may parte sa puso ko na nagsisisi na iniwan at pinabayaan ko siya. Pero bakit siya namatay? Hindi ako nakapagtanong kay mom nang sabihin niyang he's gone dahil pagkatapos nun ay nagmukmuk na ako. At hindi natapos ang pagkain ko. Sean, wala ka na ba talaga? Iniwan mo na ba talaga ako? I don't know. It's just that I'm still hoping we can be together again. Pero, imposible eh.